Welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about uh, transforming selections. And I'm, when I'm talking about selections this time, I'm talking about the actual marching ants. Now I know most of you know Command T, and if you don't know Command T, we're going to have to learn Command T. But Command T is basically a way to transform pixels. Uh, we make selections, we, and we transform, uh, but we're actually transforming a section of the image. In this tutorial, we are going to transform the selection first. And here's a typical situation that you might get, find yourself into. We want to select this clock face and the rim around it. And we don't really want to use the pen tool. And quick selection is not working for us. So one way that we could use transform selection is to draw out a circle first. I'm going to kind of get it close to the shape of that shape. And then I will go up to select, transform selection. And now I'm going to just transform it and rotate it and try to get it into the shape of our clock face. All right, so we're just going to move it and we'll rotate it a little bit. So we're just going to keep tweaking it until we get it lined up. Now, if you hold down Command and click on a corner of a transform tool, that's going to allow us to just move that corner. So that's a very handy way of transforming your shapes. I'm going to do the same thing down here. When I hold down Command, I'm going to just bring that corner in until I get it exactly lined up close as I possibly can to that actual shape of that clock face and rim. Holding down command, I'll bring this corner in a little bit. And I'm just panning around using my space bar. I know you guys know how to do that because we talked about that, right? All right, so I have it all lined up. I'll hit return, and there's my selection of my clock face. And we could duplicate that just by hitting Command J. That'll jump that up to the next layer. And then I'm just going to quickly, just to show you that we did bump it up, we'll just put a little drop shadow underneath it. All right, that's how we transform selections. Just remember, it's a little different. It's not Command-T, but go up here to Select and pull down to Transform Selection. All right. Practice with this, play with it, and uh, we'll probably experiment with it in class. See you later.